right there is where we want to put the goats. Probably not going to happen this year, maybe next. We got our beavers back this year. They're in this dam this year. Got some fresh sticks all chewed up there. One of these days we'll take a wander over on the other side and see what they've been cutting down for us. It's flooded pretty good. The frost still isn't out of the ground. Pretty late spring this year. We got our geese back. I probably can't see those. Had our eagle back the other day. That right there is a pond they were in two years ago. We didn't have any beavers back here last year. We're still not sure what really happened. We don't think it was overpopulation. We only saw two of them. They had plenty of food, as you can see by the brush all over the place. So we're not sure. We're going to have to, once we get back here, we'll have to keep a better eye on them and try to see what's going on with them. Got our scaffolding all up. That's a blessing. Make it a lot easier to put this siding on. We got the windows all framed up on this bedroom here, Grayson's bedroom. We'll hop back in the house here and show you a few things in there. It's a mess, but things are coming along. This here's those windows we framed up yesterday. 24 by 24 we went with. Figured just so you can open them and get some of the breeze off the beaver ponds and get some of that nice view. That's the north side of the house also. This here's the east side. We got a nice big window there. 64 by 30, that window is. Decent height off the ground, about two feet off the floor. It's the only two windows in this room, but that should be enough. We got eight foot ceilings. We got the other bedroom over here. Another big window and still got to frame up these two. We're putting two more 24 by 24s on this south side here. So this room will be nice and bright. We gotta, we'll frame those up. We gotta saw some more lumber. Getting some logs out today. You might be able to see one back there a little bit. Right there is one I just I had it cut down for a while and I just cut it into length. I'm going to bring the dozer back and grab that. Probably not today because I don't want to get the dozer all uncovered and uh, have to worry about covering it all back up in the rain. Got our stairs done finally. That's a nice change to see. We used to have a step ladder right there going up to there and we used to crawl through the hole in the wall there between the studs. Now I just got to remember the ladder's not there anymore. Nice landing there. Be nice. This doorway here, kind of hard to see it. This doorway here, that's going to be the bathroom. That's where the saw is. It's about 7 foot by roughly 11 foot. So... We're going to put a window in there. We're going to finish framing it up and try to plan the space out a little bit before we place the window. And right here, got doorway to our bedroom. This is going to be the nicest room. Got a nice window there. goes right down to the floor. Another nice window over here. All the way to the floor. Our bed. Queen size beds going right in between them. Cathedral ceilings with those nice timbers up there. One every four feet. 
one every four feet. We're gonna be cutting that ridge beam here shortly, putting a cupola in, because that's our north facing wall. We got those two windows in our room. On the other side of this big ugly scaffold here, we got a nice, get a look at it, nice set of French doors there. There's our windows, French doors, that's the west. So in the afternoons we'll get some nice sunlight in here, but we're not going to get any sunlight through those windows and right here is going to be a walk-in closet, so we're not going to get any south sun. So I'm going to punch a cupola right in that roof. Put four windows in it. We're going to have lots of nice natural sunlight. Back to our landing here. At the top of the stairs. We got that cathedral, got that cathedral ceiling here. All right, there's our attic. It's not much, but be plenty of room for us. A little view of the rest of those rooms there. We got six foot knee walls, eight foot ceilings. We'll head downstairs here. Well, down here, another set of French doors. Gonna be our living room, right here. Probably gonna put our wood stove right here. That there I can't tell you yet. Cause I got a, me and my dad got a surprise for Whitney on that one. These cutouts are for nine foot by five foot. Picture windows, straight out to the beaver dam. We turn, we got our staircase there. That's not the finished staircase, those are just so we can get up and down during the construction. I'm going to build some nice stairs and a nice landing and probably going to put our solar, some of our solar stuff under the staircase. Uh, most likely right here, we're going to have a broom closet under this set of stairs. The kitchen is going to be right here in this corner. That's a nice big, we got a, I believe it's a three foot by six foot bow window to go in there. We got our entrance door, our dining room table is going to be somewhere around where that generator is. These are our nice timbers. We got the main one is 8 inch by 10 inch hemlock. And then the other ones are 4 inch by 8 inch spruce. I notched them all by hand. my first experience with timber framing we got up here on the ceiling we got two inch knotty two inch thick by 12 inch wide knotty pine tongue and groove that's the floor upstairs and the ceiling downstairs We're just going to put tongue oil on that most likely these beams the reason they're dark I toasted them that's what I call it uh, they're burnt with a torch just to put a little char on them then you use a wire brush to sweep off some of the char and then you put tongue oil over top of them and you're supposed to preserve them and I like the look of it more than anything we really don't need to preserve them inside but I just like the contrast of the light and the dark we got a post here we got to finish burning that eight inch by eight inch post so over here in this corner we're gonna have bathroom in that corner and our washer and dryer are gonna be stacked in there then we're building a small pantry right here nothing big that there's a back door that's gonna go out onto our screened in uh, porch We're going eight foot out in the whole length of the house, which is 34 feet and we're going to screen the whole thing in because as you can imagine anybody that lives up here in uh, The Adirondacks The bugs are bad. So the screened in porch is going to be nice We got the nice 
This is our nice window. This is going to be the view out of the bathroom. Boy, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful view. Minus the scaffolding. Then out through these French doors here, there's going to be, I haven't figured out the exact size, but we're probably going to go roughly 12 feet out the width of the house, which is 20 feet, 8 inches. And that'll be an open deck, and you'll be able to access it from, obviously, the French doors or the screened-in porch. There's a beautiful, beautiful view, but my tarp's covering it and the scaffold. See if we can get down here. Yeah, we get down on the floor, you can see the nice view. So we'll take you outside quick. There's the scaffolding. It's rain in here, so bear with me. Might have to cut this a little short today. We got, it's a mess. Working through the winter and it snows when you don't think it's gonna snow and it makes a mess because it winds up burying the scraps you threw down the day before and you thought you were gonna have a chance to pick them up the next day and We'll walk over to where that screen and porch is going to be right here. That whole length of that is going to be all screened in porch going eight foot out. Look at that. Ducks, geese. We had an eagle back here two days ago. That's the third year in a row we've seen the eagle. Beavers, bears, deer, you name it, you'll see it back here. We cannot wait to be able to sit back on that screen in porch, relax, have a coffee, cup of tea, maybe some beers, and just enjoy it. Enjoy the beautiful view that the Lord's blessed us with. Here's a, the mighty machine. It's pink, but it's mighty. That thing's done more than I could ever have asked it to do. We got all these tall pines we got to take down for our solar panels so we can get lots and lots of natural light. I don't want to do it, but I don't want them hitting the house. And we need our power because we're 2,200 feet off the road here. And we're not paying $35,000 so we can pay a monthly payment on electric. So that's all for now. I'll, uh, it's starting to rain pretty good here. I'm going to wrap things up maybe cut a few more trees up and i'm heading back to the house to my beautiful family later